So there's a statement that was made to me that said, you can never be 100% completely sure whether or not somebody is happy for you or not. I agree with that statement, but I also disagree. So to better give you guys a context of what I'm saying. So the idea was whether or not you can have friends or people in your life that are completely happy, that are completely at peace with your happiness, with who you marry with, with the job that you have, with the money that you're making, with the type of environment where you live, the type of level or success you might have achieved that some people might look at all that and feel threatened and be jealous to the point of wanting you to fail and not succeed and when I when I look at that uh, to me I'm like I, I, I understand because you could never fully know someone's heart and because of that you know you don't completely know their intentions but that being said as well that it is up to us with the limited knowledge that we do have to choose whether or not we believe based on that limited knowledge fully or not to better put it it would be kind of like a marriage think about your marriage you don't really know your spouse 100 percent you know we're not god we don't have omniscience, which means all knowledge. We don't have all knowledge of everything. You, you don't know what a person is, is thinking in their head all the time. The longer you stay with a person, you have a better understanding of their thinking pattern. You have a better understanding of their needs, their likes, their dislikes, uh, their preferences. So you can maybe make a, a good assessment, a good judgment of maybe where they are. But overall, you can never know fully what they're thinking you can never know fully how they're thinking it why they're thinking it um, but you still choose to love that individual that husband or that wife whatever the your spouse you choose you still choose to love them based on the limited knowledge you do have and i think that's the mindset we should take on about life and sometimes our friendships and sometimes the relationships that we have around us that even though I don't know all, I'm still willing to take the risk of potentially being hurt. I'm still choosing to take the risk that this may not turn out to be how I envision it to turn out. But because I love you, because I appreciate our friendship, because I appreciate the fact that you're my sister, you're my brother, you're an uncle, you're an aunt, you're a mother, you're a father, that you might hurt me in this relationship. But based on the limited knowledge I have of who you are and what your intentions are, I still choose you. It's not an easy place to be, frankly, but it is one that can be achieved. Which brings me back to that original statement where this individual said that you can never really know whether someone truly wants your happiness because you don't really know their intention or you don't fully know their intention which is true you will never fully know someone's intention there are couples 20 years 30 years and they're still trying to figure out how things work they're still trying to discover new things about each other they're still trying to discover new things about of themselves after so many years being together after such a long time of loving one another if that's the case for them I think that should give us a little bit of assurance that uh, we will never know for sure you can never be really sure but based on the limited knowledge you do have you do know you choose to jump in or not is it risky probably there probably is some level of risk but is it also risky not to love <laughs> that is the truth as well I remember a statement that was made and I remember this was for a, a movie I forget the title of the movie specifically um, I wouldn't say that I'm a sucker for romantic movies but sometimes it, it does get to me and I remember a statement that was made in this particular movie the gentleman is trying to win the girl you know the the, the big climax at the end of the movie he's trying to win the girl and he's he made this big 
uh, monologue. And as part of the monologue, as he's speaking to the girl, he said something I never forgot. He said, you know, I don't really understand love. I don't really understand how this works. You know, love sometimes can be complicated. And maybe what I'm doing right now could be a complete mistake. And I could regret coming in and trying to be in a relationship. I could, I could, re- I could be regretting this in the years to come. But he said, I want, I am willing to regret you for the rest of my life. I am willing to take the risk of regretting you for the rest of my life. Wow. To me, that was such an incredible statement. Um, I've never heard somebody say that before. I never heard in that particular context, somebody said, be willing to regret something all their lives. But that's, that's that understanding of the risk factor that's sometimes involved in choosing to love someone, even though you don't know all that you need to know about this individual. Let's choose to love based on the limited knowledge we have to give 100%. Could we be hurt? Possibly. But could we truly also find true joy, love, friendship, and peace? That's also possible. Well, remember, you guys' very best. I'll see you guys next time.